Hey guys, it's B here once again. Now, this is the Logitech G920, and it has a small problem with the brake pedal in particular. Um, they use a small rubber piece inside of the um, inside of the brake pedal to make it seem more realistic when it's braking. So basically when the pedal goes down you can feel exactly when it hits the rubber and then you can compress the rubber. It's very like soft squishy rubber but um, it just feels weird and wrong and it doesn't translate well into the game. Like as the game receives the information it's like oh it's pushing hard oh it's stopped and then oh it's kind of pushing like I can't it doesn't translate pressure into that it only translates the actual distance the pedal has traveled um, so my goal today is to mod this mod this to just take out that rubber piece and improve your driving experience with this significantly trust me now let's get started all right guys so here is our pedal mechanism here. Uh, now one thing I do want to mention, you are going to void your warranty on this by doing this, but hey, if you're up for it, I think it's a lot better. Um, now you're just going to want to flip this guy over and um, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of screws all throughout the back. I'll give you an exact count in a minute, but we have these black screws that are slightly bigger and a couple of silver screws. Some are pretty far recessed in here. Like I don't, I can't quite reach them with this I have to use an extension um, but the big ones are going to be size 1 Phillips and the smaller ones I think are just a size 0 I can't tell quietly, quite exactly but the number 1 uh, seems to fit them just fine so you should be fine just make sure you have a screwdriver that can fit down into these gaps this guy can barely barely fit in there I'm using the iFixit um, tool kit uh, protect toolkit here uh, and also this has a cool feature where if you um, put this inside of the screwdriver you can get yourself a lot more torque because some of these screws are tight in there um, so let us get started So I've unscrewed most of the screws here. Now here's the tricky part. You gotta actually lift, um, release your uh, little floor grip thing. And there are two screws inside, just below here. You should be able to reach them with my extension. But yeah, just so you know. All right, after you release all those screws, you should see, if you have it propped up like me, that the pedals will now push through and push off this big plastic part so you can put this to the side and now you've got to be careful so just make sure that you've unplugged everything this isn't plugged into any kind of power at all because you know this is electronics you're dealing with here uh, and you can see they've actually wrote you got clutch brake and whatever that is it's the gas pedal but acceleration I don't know it's like half an A with a line. I don't know why they wrote that. Um, but yes, so you can see, you gotta be careful also because there's a little bit of oil on here. Uh, it's made to, um, uh, so it'll slip a little better, but just make sure you're not gonna get that smeared everywhere. You don't want to. So flip it over. And if you look on the pedal itself here, you've gotta actually kinda take it off. So uh, what you need to do is it has these two little hex bits here. Now let me figure out exactly which kind they need. So they need a 2.5 uh, size uh, hex bit here. You're gonna need a lot of torque to loosen these guys. And once you do, they're fairly easy to unscrew. So we're just gonna take this uh, brake pedal um, off here nice and easily. Make sure you're keeping all these screws in some kind of, you know, magnetic tray or maybe a bowl if you don't have anything else. So you can take off this metal part here now, and that'll allow you to completely take that pedal separate from the rest of it. 
Uh, now I'm just going to kind of prop the other ones up here. There we go. Um, so now our rubber piece is inside here. So what we need to do is get uh, this screw undone and we can get straight to it. Uh, so you're going to get yourself a number five size hex bit here. Make sure you got yourself a lot of torque. Stick it in this side and get a wrench for the other side of some kind. Don't need anything particularly uh, powerful here. Let me just get that on there somehow. And then just twist in uh, the left direction until you get this loose. All right, so once you've got that unscrewed, uh, there's a spring in here, so you gotta kinda push this up, this red part, and pull your screw out there. And careful, this is where all the oil is. Uh, simply pull that out and you'll see your spring here. And you've got your little piece of rubber right there. So you can just take that guy out and put everything back together. But that little guy, it's, you know, fairly squishy rubber, but I mean, why? Why you do this? And now you can go ahead and just put the whole thing back together in reverse order. It's really easy. I, I seriously feel like Logitech sort of made this to be modded and stuff like that. Uh, especially because they use simple, um, you know, they just use normal hex bits and uh, some Phillips bits on the back even. Uh, it's not like security torque or anything like that. Anything weird. Um, but they seriously made it nice and easy for you to get in here and get everything all apart. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I worked real hard trying to figure this out. Uh, but seriously, this will improve your playing experience. Uh, at least if you play uh, like me. I was playing Forza with this guy. And I'll show you a little bit of gameplay while I'm doing this. But hey, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you liked it, please leave a like on the video. Uh, if you want to check out some of my other channel, I do a lot of other gaming videos and stuff like that. So feel free to um, tell me how you like it. Subscribe if you want to see a little bit more. And let me know if you have any questions, because I will always answer every comment. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching today. I'll see you next time.